What's up guys, it's your pal Tsai and it's vlog time. Welcome back to another Taravel vlog. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Hyrule Sanchez. I am a lifestyle, travel, fashion, and entertainment vlogger from the south of Manila, Philippines. And if you do like my content, please do hit that subscribe button down below. Hello to you! Anyways, we're currently on our way for the birthday celebration. But this video is actually about my Pagod Pod travel vlog. Sorry if my face throughout the video has like white spots around my face eh, in my face and syempre kasi hindi din best condition yung skin ko nito since puya tan moments to dahil road trip kami na at napapagsak yung my <laughs> ano ko, oh, gorilla pad. Hindi ako nakaka skincare and all all throughout our road trip but nonetheless this travel vlog will be much informative for you lalo na ngayong summer because Pagod Pod is one of the travel destinations here in the Philippines that you could go just by your car like go punta ka na sa norte mararating mo na siya but then I will tell you through this vlog how you can go to Pagod Pod on a budget so if you are interested please do keep on watching if you love the that and if you're still not part of the vlog time fam hit that subscribe button down below to officially be part of the family and yeah I hope you enjoy this vlog bye ay bakit ako nagbye yeah ito na yung vlog Cusina Ilocandia Cusina Ilocandia Nakadaanan na namin siya Pero I then realize Ang hina naman ang pamilya ko I then realize na Na feature siya Siya yung napanood ko dun sa feature Na ang pinaka And sabi PTV din daw Na feature na sila Maganda kasi yung place guys Very antique Very ano din Aesthetic din siya It's a nice restaurant Tapos naka dito, naka-post na sa walls yung wifi password. So, makunik ka na lang at mabilis. A few moments later. Masasapos na namin kumain. Eh, mas say, masarap dito. At mura pa, guys. Mura. Yun na importante. Masarap na. Mura pa. So, mas masarap yung pagkain. Ilan kami? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Around 9 to 10. Tapos, grabe guys. Ang binayaran lang namin. 1, 4. <laughs> Lawag people, say hi. Hi. So I want to go. Later. New friends, walang walang ilaw talaga as in. Wadading post, te post lang ng kuryente ay an ilaw na lang sa sakyan ng inaasahan namin ngayon. Te, kaya pa punta kayo sa ilokos. Make sure maaga kayo at okay yung maintenance sa sakyan nyo hindi po dito yung ilaw nyo and everything it's also for your safety guys para ka parang makarating kayo doon ng masaya kompleto at maging hawa ganyan po kami dito sa Ilocos gusto po namin na enjoy nyo po yung stay nyo thank you for coming at Ilocos we hope we would think you would yeah thank you <laughs> guys kanina may nakita kaming red sabi, sabi ni papa lighthouse daw yung palaw yun na yung windmill color red yung ilaw niya kasi di ba karaniwa kapag lighthouse red yung ilaw ngayon windmill na pala yun tapos isa lang yung may ilaw na windmill so isa lang ang windmill <laughs> so, grabe guys hindi ko inakalaga nun sya kalaki we're here 
Ayan guys, nandito na kami ngayon sa Transient House kasi mas mura at mas affordable at may tawiran lang daw sila wherein ano. Basta mamaya, ikikwento ko sa inyo kung paano mangyayari yung mga bagay-bagay. Mas may libreng breakfast na din. Sasabihin ko rin sa inyo kung anong pangalan nung kanilang Transient House. At kasama natin yung Transient House, yung pay-ari ng Transient House. Parang ko sa lako ng isang. Ayan, sina Kuya. Ano yun Kuya? Dati saan kayo nagtatrabaho? Sa souvenir shop? Ah, ano? Favorite po ako ng Kaiser. Mm, hanggang sa nakabundar po. Ipire po siya talaga dati kami. Mm, kaya meron ding restaurant. Hindi pa naman po tapos na. Anyways guys, I got really inspired by the story of the owner of Sea Jam's homestay because you know, dati empleyado lang sila ng Saud Beach Resort. Saud Beach Resort is actually one of the best beach resorts that you can go to when you're at Saud. But then, grabe yung perseverance nila that dati yung asawa niya yung babae, they once had their own souvenir shop and then kung paano nila inahon yung sarili nila from that and that's just a proof to you guys, to us that you know nothing can stop a driven heart especially if you're a vlogger or anything whatever you are it's very very important that you have a positive mindset in life a few inches later Summers, kain tayo o, diba? this is how you go to pagod food on a budget just need to do this okay bukas ituturo ko ko ano yung mga to attack yung mga ganito kagisi ko lang nakatulog na pala ako Nung naikinig lang ako sa headphones na ako parang nakatulog na pala ako. Yan si Tita Dais, oh. Day 2. Good morning, everyone. Ay, pabuhay. 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 First, you don't need to go to a very mamahal beach resort around, but if you do want amenities, that's where you go. Wow, ang sarap! But then, if you do want to really go on a budget, around the whole street here in Pagutpod, here, I'll show you. Yan, you will be seeing a lot of ancient houses where in dun kayo makakahanap ng mga sobrang murang pa din yung tulugan. Lalo na if you're staying here just for a night, just to sleep and then sa morning na kayo magsiswim, this is the best place for you to stay. And also, the locals prepare food for you sa halagang 4,000 pesos. It's good for 8 persons lang na families na may kasama pang breakfast at coffee. This is the breakfast video. <laughs> Ayan no, yan na yung breakfast. Isama na sa 4,000. That's why you just don't have the small businesses and the locals, but you also get, you know, affordable accommodation when you go here at Pagod Pod. And for the beach, if you're worrying about the beach, kasi nandito kayo across the street, you'll be going lang. Kawit lang kayo kung saan may daanan daw yung mga locals dito papunta dun sa kabila and then dun magiswimming na kayo less than a minute lang naman not compared when you go to hotels mahal makakakuha kayo mga 5,000 a night barely e, it, nang ano lang yun 4 people not unlike this 8 people lalo na kung when you're traveling ng madami ayan mura na tong ganitong lugar A few moments later. We are ready to go to the beach. Ito nga pala yung aming room. Hindi pa ako naka-room tour for you guys kapag on a budget kayo sa pag-agpod. Ito yung door. Tapos ito yung building. Ayan. Nakapasok kayo. Tada! Tapos in the room. Ayan. May bubulaga sa inyong isang magandang babae. Ayan. Nandito na yun. Tapos ito yung room. May maliit lang siya pero... Madaming nakalagay. Dalawang queen size bed. Tapos, isang double deck. Sa isang queen size bed, kasha ang tatlo dalawa. Yun. Tapos sa double deck, syempre, ganun din. Pero, dalawa siguro. Tapos, dalawa din sa baba. Ganun. Tapos, may TV din dito, guys. May TV. Tapos, may emergency light. May ilaw. Ilaw, ilaw, ilaw. Ayan. Tapos... Pag ano kayo, pag, pag medyo madami, magbibigay sila ng extra bed like this. Ayan, may extra bed silang binigay. And also there, may extra bed din dito. So, ayan, ayan, extra bed din yan. Tapos ito na may tao sa CR. <laughs> ayan, tapos na pala. O, papasok tayo sa CR ngayon. 
And then, pagpasok natin sa CR, pagpasok natin sa CR, ito na siya. Shower curtain, tapos pantay lang yung floor ng shower sa toilet. Ayan, toilet, tapos, syempre walang bidet, tapos, ano na, sink. Tapos, sa isang tayo ng mga basa and all that. Tapos, yung switch nandiyan sa gilid. And that's the room. Tara, ito naman siya yung view pag nandito ka. Malinis siya, bago. As you can see, wala pa masyadong varnish yung taas niya. Tapos ayan, nalabas na kami ngayon. May aircon guys, may aircon. Malamig yung aircon nila. Mukhang bro, bro ha. Bro ha. Mukhang bro ha. Mukhang bro ha. Yes, that's right. Puti o, nag-ano ako. I'll show you the contact of the Sea Jams homestay here in Barangay sa Old Pagod Road, Ilocos Duarte. It's very easy to find kasi katapat lang siya ng Sa Old Beach Resort and Hotel. Ay, wait lang. Reverse kill camera. Sea Jams homestay, Barangay Pagod Road, Ilocos Duarte. Room for rent. Good for eight. Ayan, basahin nyo na lang. Ayan. Tapos may Facebook account din sila para kung gusto nyo mag pa-reserve. Tapos ito siya. Hindi pa gawa yung taas. Tapos ito lang kami sa baba. Ito pa lang ata yung gawa. And yun ang balak nila is paglagay ng parang restaurant dun sa taas sa dati silang may eatery kaya din sila nakapag break nang serve ng breakfast and then this is the parking for you guys and ayan and then when you go to the beach ito na siya and pag may mga senior kayo okay lang din kasi may service silang tricycle wherein ayan si Ina o oh, diba say hi Ina hi 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 say hi Hi! Say hi! Hi! Alis na sila. Dito lang sila dadaan. Ayan. Diyan lang. Sobrang lapit lang ng beach. Si-swim na sila. There they go! Tayo sa daanan. Papunta dun sa beach. You're just gonna need to walk a little while. Ito. Ah! Ito na. Ito na nga. Beach lang nga. Anting lakad lang. Ganun. It's the environment. Dati pala silang empleyado ng Saud. You're gonna need to walk. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Saya ko na dun. Meron din dito guys sa mga henna tattoo. If gusto nyo magpahena, ayan, dyan kayo magpahena. Colored henna, saka may load din. Dyan guys. Tapos, beach na. Ay, kita na nga yung windmill! Hala, amazing! Tinan mo. Pag marami ka, ay pag malapit. Yan na sila, tanaw na sila from here. Tara! Guys, pero kung makikita nyo, di ba? Dito sa Saud. Madaming ding mga ayarn. Mga dahon-dahon mula sa mga kadagatan, kadagatan. Ayarn. Kaya, okay lang naman yan, natural. When you go here lang sa Saud Beach, kailangan yung tumingin for a uh, good spot. Kasi may mga, ito, very virgin pa siya. Hindi pa masyado ginagalaw. May mga, ayan o, oh, mga dahon-dahon pa from the beach. Kaya naghahanap kami ngayon ng dagat. Saan ba yung dagat dito? Kung makita yung dagat? Makita yung dagat? Kasi makita yung dagat eh. Kaya makita yung dagat? Ang dami ng windmills. Nakakatuwa. Gabi kasi kami di ba nagpunta dito. Inabot kami ng gabi sa biyahe namin. So hindi namin masyado nakita pa yung mga windmills. Ngayon na lang namin siya nakita at maganda talaga siya. Oh, ang dami niya. From, ewan nyo kung kita nyo. Ayan. Galing. <laughs> Sabihin sa akin, bakit ngayon ba lang ba nakakita itong lalaking ko ng windmill? Oo, ngayon lang ako nakakatawag ng dama ko. Ang gagagala ko lang naman. Kaso may nangangagat! Okay. May nangangagat! Kasi namantal siya. I don't know. Ayan o, namantal. Mabato dito sa 
sure pero pagdating mo dito doon after diyan do sa place nila doon ang lean ang fine ng sand ang ganda mag swimming and talagang masasabi mo it's worth the ride it's worth the trip kahit ang haba-haba ng trip by the way we're at Saud guys ha and kaya nga na napili yung Saud ko very virgin no island wala pa masyadong ginagalaw and wala masyadong ingay kaya sobrang saya lang yung mag family bonding and everything in that corner that's it for this video thank you very much guys and just always remember that when you go to this destination all of this this is the beauty of mother nature and we as human beings we have the task to take care of them so that the future generations will still see what we see right now and isn't it just fulfilling in your heart that you have lived this legacy for the future generations to see i mean man doing that is just one great gift that you could give to the future. I'd be having a giveaway. I'd be having collaborations with different brands and um, yeah, abangan nyo na lang yung mga giveaways na ibibigay ko sa inyo. To be part of the family, so if you're still not part of the family, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you did like all of the things you see, you hit that like button as well. Anyways, that's all for this video and I hope to see you on my next video. There will be bonus clips after this Daktakan thing you were doing. And always remember, don't stop chasing your dreams. Just always be steadfast no matter what people tell you. Bye to you!